Hi everyone, it's another brisk winter's day here, but the sun is shining. I'm trying to get into the sun because it's quite cold next to the river today. But anyway, how's everyone doing? What an incredible past few days. Taking us within again, releasing all the old templates, patterns, desires, wishes, wants, recoding, DNA upgrades, whatever you want to call it, it's happening, isn't it? Can you feel it? Excuse me. A lot of going within still. And we're all wondering what the hell is going on. Why is it still going on? Why is it still happening? Haven't we done enough yet? Well, the answer is obviously not. And we're all constantly tested about this path. This path that I'm walking right now is very interesting too. But the path that we're on, we really are going deeper, 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 more layers. This onion seems to be never ending. Oh, there's the sun. Let's go on this side now. And it's good. It's good no matter how young or old you are. Just imagine all that crap that you've done all your life. All those things that you wouldn't do today that you did back then. And we're reminded of these things. And no matter what the reasons, we can't, we can't change the past. It is us. It is who we are today. But we can look in that mirror and say, okay, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to go down that path again. I'm going to follow my heart. And this is really what it's about. This is this test, this test, this test, these tests. The test of self. Do we really believe what we believe? With, with against, against all the odds and everything that's saying something to the contrary in this reality, in this 3D reality in which we live, things are either really stacked against us or they're really stacked for us. And it's this transition between this these two realities, the two realities of living here and now in this world or society in which we live and this other higher dimension where it's nice, peaceful, calm and it's just love and this is where we're striving to get, this is where we're going and it's really incredible and it, it, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're sitting alone at home, just chilling, something will always come to mind. As you clear something, something new will come to mind. And this is what's creating this new path going forward. And as we know, the universe has no time limit. There's no time is irrelevant. We are conscious of time because we believe life is short, but life is eternal. We've been here before, we'll come back again for sure. Whether it's as a fish, as a rabbit, as a dog, as another human being, it doesn't really matter. Matter. We will come back again for sure. Because this is an eternal journey. To transform this planet. And we can see history is repeating itself. People are winding back the clock to what they call the dark old days. But are they really dark old days? Are we going back to history to change the outcome, to change the direction in which we're all going? And you can look at geopolitical situations, they're a true indicator of, let's say, the collapse of the current mentality of the, of the cabal, whatever you want to call it, the Illuminati, whatever, the power players. We, the people, are sending messages. We don't want to live in this non-serving environment any longer. We want to take control of ourselves. We want to take control of our lives. And these messages are being delivered very clear, very loudly, not only in Europe, not only in America, but in places like South Korea, where people are now coming under scrutiny for everything that they've done. Public opinion is very 
strong these days and the movement to change or to transform or not comply. We don't want to comply with bullshit any longer. We don't want to comply with things that don't serve us. We don't want to comply to feed the rich. We want to feed ourselves. And we can start that by feeding ourselves love. And this love energy is now quite profound. It's quite ever-present. And the house of cards is slowly falling. I, was, I look back at a year ago, where I was a year ago, and I'm in a completely different place now. I'm in the same place physically, but spiritually, psychologically, I'm in a completely new place. And people have commented, oh, this new person. I'm not a new person. I've just changed my views, I've changed my opinions, I've changed my whole way of living. And that's positive. And this is what we're being asked to do, is change the way we live. Let's go back into ourselves. Let's go back to how time began. What did we do? We looked after ourselves. We looked after each other. We cared. We helped without any conditions. But today's society is, oh, you need to do this to get this, and you need to do this to do this because of this and this and this. But it's all croc It's a crocker. It's a crocker shit. And that needs to go. I do things because I'd like to do them. Because I'm pulled to do them, because I'm called to do them, or because I just really feel like doing them. And this is living your own spiritual journey. It's not a rebel. You may want to call it a rebel, rebellious life. It's bucking the system. The system controls so many billions of people today. And this is the norm. But when we stand up and say, no, I don't want to live like this, we're called rebels. Rebels without a cause. But we do have a cause. And it's love. It's to live a peaceful, loving life with people of similar mentality, like-mindedness, and just this passion to be and not to comply with any systems. I want to live in a country, in a place where there's a beautiful kingfisher just flying around here. Um, in a place where that heart balance is there, where nobody's squabbling, nobody's fighting, everyone's living happily. There's no stress to provide because we have everything we need to, to, to live. Going off the grid, I've mentioned this many, many times, go off the grid and enjoy nature. Because there's billions of hectares of untroubled land available to man. And that's where we should be going. These micro capitals, these micro cities, these big cities that are all full of energy that are just focused on one thing. Greed. And that's not the way forward. And as much as people may resent what's going on geopolitically, they're afraid of change. They're afraid of the unknown. And I think this is one of the things we can see from those millions of people that voted for Brexit, those millions of people that voted for Trump. They sent a message that we do not agree with the way that this system is functioning. And fair play to them, power to the people, because that's what it's about. All the rest is hype. We don't know what's going to happen when that man takes place or what happens when Brexit leaves Europe, when Britain leaves European Union. We don't know, but we're speculating. And speculation is all based on fear. What if this, what if that, what if this, what if that? Who gives a shit? Live today. I know where I am today is where I am today. And somebody asked me yesterday, so I said, I don't know where I'm going to be in six months' time. They said, well, that's not good enough. And I said, well, it's good enough for me. Because I don't know where I'm going to be in six months' time. I don't know where I'm going to be in six hours' time. So let's drop this future planning and future necessity of of what society expects of us and live live today live here and now Let's live this living second taking care of everything that we need to but most importantly taking care of ourselves and enjoying ourselves and loving ourselves and honoring ourselves for all that we are so there's the message for today it's a super full moon not that i know the difference it's a full moon <laughs> It's a full moon, we're affected by water, because we are water, made predominantly, 
we can see some of the consequences of Mother Nature's response to the way humanity is living in, in New Zealand with an earthquake, a powerful earthquake. And this is set to continue. This trend is set to continue. We need to honour Mother Nature. We need to respect her. We need to give back to her. And we can do that through love. We can get on with our neighbours. We can get on with our friends. We can get on with our children. We can get on with everybody around us. And those that we don't, we can choose to leave. We invite people into our li lives. And it's those people that we will share today and maybe tomorrow. So, sending you lots of love and light. It's a beautiful day here in Vukovar. From my home to your home. Bye-bye.